itself. All right. On this car itself, the settings can be can be customized. There are some settings can be customized, such as uh, how you want to lock automatic lock the car, how you want to automatic unlock the car, and things like that. All right. So what you can do is uh, to uh, to access this feature you need to make sure that the display says odometer press and hold on the display uh, lever until it shows like this zero one means average fuel consumption will be reset after you have uh, refuel your car so this feature is on to turn off the feature press and hold on the display key it will turn off the feature so if i turn it off that means average fuel consumption will not be reset after your refuel to turn it back on press it to on again pressing a second one it goes to zero two zero two if you see carefully down there that one the trip the a is actually blinking which means if i turn on this feature trip a uh trip a counter will reset every time i refuel the car and then pressing another time zero three zero three shows eco idle automatic display so if i Turn it on. Uh, sorry, if I sorry, this is eco idle timer. Timer display on or display off. That means when the car, when the car goes to when the car actually idles, uh, under eco idle, uh, do you want the display to turn on? So if I turn it on, I leave it here like this kind, so it will turn on itself. All right. Now let's see how it goes. Huh? All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just uh, exit from this menu. To exit from the menu, just press the display button until it sees the word. N. Okay, E N D N. Okay, press N, press press, hold it down, and then what you can do now is activate the eco idle. Okay, eco idle is down there. Activated. Uh, let me put on my seat belt. Okay, seat belt on. Car go to drive. And then after that, uh, drive off. All right, ah, uh, eco idle is already there. So if I pull over and I stop like this kind, all right, the eco idle timer is being shown down there. Easy, ah. Uh? On the right hand side there, there is a eco idle timer. All right. Uh, all right. I set it to off. And then let's see what happens. Okay, again, seatbelt on, put the car to drive, and then let's take a drive in it. Alright, eco idle has already kicked in, so then I, when I pull over, alright, eco idle has activated, but then you see the display down there, it still show the odometer, so the timer is actually off. Alright, the next one is 06. 06 is actually on in showing that the eco indicator is turned on. If I press it off, the eco the eco indicator won't be displayed. Alright, so let's see what it does uh, when you come to here. I turn off the eco display. Okay, so let's see and alright. Let's take a drive. Okay, eco idle turn back on. <coughs> okay, eco idle doesn't light up. Yeah, so there's no eco idle lighting up at all uh, in this case. Alright, next one is 21. 21 actually according to the user manual is vehicle speed link door locking function. So that means if the car speeds up past a certain speed limit, like maybe, uh, if I can remember correctly, it's 20. Uh, so please do comment if if uh, if I'm wrong. Uh, this one, if I turn on the feature, that means if the car speeds up a certain uh, speed, the door will be locked. So let's take a drive again and see uh, how this thing works. Uh, oh yes, uh, before that, let me unlock the doors. So, uh, you can lock and unlock the door by this button behind the uh, behind the, the gear lever itself. Put the car to neutral, put the car to drive, and then let's go ahead and see. I think 
think the speed limit the speed Let's have a look again. Just now, maybe the speed limit wasn't. Yeah, there 20, then they locked already. I think just now because I didn't open the door, so it didn't lock. So now it can lock. Alright, after that, um, let me go back here again. Okay, next one is actually uh, 22. 22 is gear shift link, uh, gear shift link, uh, gear shift uh, door locking mechanism. That means if I shift the car out of a certain uh, out of a certain uh, gear, like parking, then uh, it will lock the door. Okay, so this one is on. When I turn on number 22 feature, which means uh, that is uh, the door will automatic lock when I change when I change gear. It will also cause number 21 to turn off. Okay, let me go back again. I overshot. Okay, you see, uh, 21 now off already. Uh, that means uh, you cannot have both both of it on. That means the door will automatic lock either by speed or either by gear change. So speed is off. So gear change is on. So let's, uh, let's see this one. See how it works. All right. And okay, door open, close. Okay, put the phone on the brake, and then shift the car out. Okay, the minute I shift out of park, the door actually locks. All right. So okay, so that's the uh, that's the vehicle uh, automatic locking feature. All right. Now with the car uh, set to uh, shift link automatic lock which means the door will lock automatically when the gear go gets out of parking uh, let's see the unlock uh, functionality the unlock functionality is achieved by number 23 and number 24 23 is a uh, gear shift lock as uh, a gear shift or door automatic unlock so which means if I turn on this feature the when I shift the car into park into peak into P or parking range the door will automatically uh, unlock. All right. So let's see how it goes. Okay. Let me exit from here. All right. Um, parking breakdown. Shift the car to drive. All right. All right. Move ready. Then pull the handbrake. Okay. Put the parking. You can hear the door unlock. So the door is already unlocked based on. Uh, parking itself the next the next one is a uh, door unlock when the ignition is turned off okay let me get back here all right next one is number 23 23 I said to honor uh, if I turn to 24 you'll be off 24 is actually uh, door automatically unlock when the ignition is turned off okay so I set this one to on. All right, then exit from the menu itself. Okay, open, close, lock my doors, drive. All right, stop, handbrake, shift to P, and then turn off the icon, turn off the ignition. So ignition turn off then the door unlocks okay the next setting the next setting uh, actually tells how loud you want the uh, you want the beeper to sound when you lock and unlock your car so this is number 25 25 is how loud you want the you you want the the, the beeper to sound when you lock and unlock the car okay so seven is the highest Okay, 7 is the highest and then 0 is the lowest. That means 0, uh, no sound at all. Okay, then if I press here, uh, wait, uh, let me get back. Okay, uh, press and hold down.
need to wind down uh, to see to hear the sound. Alright, the sound getting louder and louder as you approach 7. Then when you go to 0, it's actually uh, no sound at all. Alright, let's go down and have a look at the car. I set it to 0, that means the, there shouldn't be any sound at all. Okay, I shall attempt to lock the car like this. Let me just get it in focus. Alright, uh, all right, let's try to lock the car. So, Soka users use uh, app to lock and unlock the car. So, lock the car. Alright, you can see that the, the turn signal actually blink and then the doors have been locked. But then there's no beeping sound because I set the puzzle to level 0, which is silent. Okay, and then uh, let's unlock it. Alright, unlock it. And then uh, the lights actually turn on because uh, I have the car set to follow me home light on. Uh. I'll show it to you how to turn on this feature afterwards. So for now, uh, no sound. Okay, now let's, uh, let's make the buzzer become maximum loud. Okay, what I can do, start up the car, start up the car, and then uh, press and hold down, go to setting 25, 25, go to maximum, loudness. Okay, you can really hear the beeper, alright, so let's turn off the engine, and then uh, turn off the engine, and then we will go and unlock and unlock the car. Just give me a while to get out of screen lock for my the other phone. Right. Now let's see uh, if I lock the car, what will happen. Okay, lock. Alright. And then unlock. Okay, the beeper is now at maximum loudness. Alright, firing up the engine again. Next setting, 26. Answer back signal. Answer back signal is actually on and off only. So let's say if I turn it off, uh, when I turn it off, the car will just beep the sound without the signal blinking. Alright, and then when I turn it back on, the signal will blink. Alright, so let's turn off the engine. And then uh, we lock the car after this. All right, let's give it a try. Lock. All right, you see, uh, the sig the turn signal did not light up. Uh. All right, one more time. Unlock. All right, signal doesn't didn't uh, blink not like just now uh, just now the signal blink uh, when I unlock the car now number 26 setting I turn it off already so it's not going to it's not going to uh, light up the signal is not going to light up because I turn off the functionality alright let's turn it back on ok once I turn it back on the, the, this function would Come back online. Okay, let's go out and have a look. All right, I'm here. So lock. Right, yeah, you see the signal is back on. All right, unlock. Uh, signal comes back on and. Tester setting number 26 on your instrument. Alright, the next thing is uh, mode num is setting number 31. Okay, 31 is called uh, speed link in the variable intermittent wiper. So it's on right now. That means the variable, that means uh, the, the, inter the, wipe, the how frequent the wiper sweeps the windscreen depends on the speed of your car. 
All right, we are going to see how frequent the wiper actually uh, sweeps the front screen. So with the with the car in stationary position, let's see how how frequent. Uh. Okay, we wait for the wiper to sweep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 9 seconds okay it take 9 seconds for the for the wiper to sweep with the car in stationary uh, in stationary position like this stop uh, the car stop okay i'm going to drive the car so you're going to count the you're going to count how frequent this uh, wiper uh, sweeps the the windscreen okay I'm now probably reaching 30 kilometers an hour. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seconds uh, at 30 kilometers an hour, six seconds. And then if I go faster, 40. One, two, three, four, five, less than five seconds. Okay. So that is how the variable intermittent wiper works on this car itself. All right, we are going to set this one to uh, off. That means setting number 31. Setting number 31, we turn it off. Okay, turn it off. And then let's see what will happen to the wiper itself. All right, I turn on the wiper. Let's see how... One, two, three, four, five, five seconds. Okay, even though with the vehicle is stationary, it's five seconds. All right, we're going to see it when the car is moving. All right, looks like regardless what what the speed is, the intermittent wiper is actually. Uh, fixed timing uh, that means the the, the uh, wiper frequency is fixed uh, in this case okay whether the car is moving or whether the car is not moving is also about three three to five sec uh just so i call it five seconds uh, about less than five uh, less than five seconds for it to work all right so this is feature number 31 which is the intermittent uh, wiper i'm going to put this one back to variable to to, to speed link variable uh, wiper Okay, to set it back to speed link variable intermittent wiper, look for setting number 31 and then press it and then turn it to on to, uh, to turn back on the speed link variable intermittent wiper. Okay, next one will be 32. 32. Okay, 32. In 32 says uh shift to reverse link rear wiper so it's on it's on just now when i when i turn on my wiper the when i turn on my front wiper and i reverse the car the what they call it the back screen wiper actually sweep three times so turning this feature that's because this feature is on if i turn it off okay it, it also means now that when i turn on when i put my car into reverse the rear wiper is not going to come online all right, the the system has already uh, locked up the what they call it uh, return back to autometer means the functionality has been turned on uh, in this case. Oh yeah, sorry, forgot to lift up the front wiper. Okay, I lift up the front. I already lift, lift up the front wiper. Set the car. Set the wiper to uh, intermittent. Put on my seat belt. And brake goes down. Go to drive. Drive over the bit. And then after that, if I, when I want to shift to reverse. Now you have a look at here, look at the look at the rear wiper when I shift the car to reverse. Okay, you see uh, the rear wiper doesn't come online. The rear, the rear wiper doesn't sweep three times because I turn off the feature. Okay, so let's have uh, let's set back this thing to Let's set it back to on. Okay. Then when I drive forward a little bit, 
Then when I put it to reverse, you can see the red wiper activating three times. Okay, shift to reverse link rear wiper. All right, the next one is setting number 41. Okay, 41 setting is three time flash functionality. Okay, let's see what it sets. What is it there right now? Uh, you see, after the, just now was 31 and 32, 31, 32, then next one is 41. 41 setting according to your, your user manual 2 19, it says three time flash functionality. So, okay, three times. All right, let's say we do like this. Huh? Uh, you do like this, signal blink three times. Do like this, signal blink three times. If I turn it off, okay, you see when I when I do the lane chain feature, it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't work anymore. If I turn it back on again. Alright, it comes back on. Alright, the next setting is actually 81, but 81 uh, I need the key fob with me. Oops. Okay, I need the key fob. Okay, so this one, whether uh, in interior lamp link uh, on or off, okay, if I set to on or set to off, uh, this one, the interior room, room lamp light can be turned on if we, according to the user manual down here. Uh, I need the key fob in that case, okay. Uh, when the, the, if the room lamp is set to door position, and then it will turn on and turn off in under the following situation okay uh, approaching the vehicle carrying the smart key locking unlocking the doors and so on all right so i need the smart key uh, for that to function i don't have the smart key with me so car users use the app so this part this one i'm not able to show it to you however the next one i'm able to show to you the next one is actually called the uh, well follow me home light Okay, so just now the interior room lamp link uh, on and off it actually depends on this setting. Next one is called 84. 84 is actually uh, follow me home light. Follow me home light default is on. So if I turn it to on, when I unlock the car, the headlight will stay on for a while. Okay, so that one is called follow me leaving home light. The actual term is called follow me leaving home. That means if I leave my home, okay, get out of my house to go into the car, Okay, the headlights will light up my the path for me to get to the car itself. So let's have a look at it down here. Alright. Lock. Okay, lock just like normal. Then unlock. You see, the headlight turns on for a couple of seconds. Okay, and then this one actually illuminating the path for me to the car itself. So it is also some something like what like like the car telling you, hey, I'm I'm down here like this kind. All right, so the light actually lights up for for believe I if I remember correctly, it's 30 seconds. So the light will light up, illuminating the path to your car. All right, uh, I have turned off the follow me leaving home light so 84 i did turn off so which means now uh, if i unlock the car the headlight won't turn on so let's have a look at the car from the outside okay lock all right Okay, unlock. You see, uh, the headlight no longer turn, uh, turn on. That's because I've already disabled the follow me leaving home uh, functionality. Alright, uh, I'm going to turn it back on again so that the next uh, Soka user can actually uh, find out more, find out easily where the car is. Okay, rather than pressing, rather than waiting for the horn to work, uh, I mean like pressing the horn functionality on the app itself. So with this, we wrap up the discussion on the multi-info display. All right. So if we leave the if we leave the the display on for a while, the system would the 
okay so 84 it turned on uh, okay just before we go 30 84 it turned on so you can actually press and continue now if i press and hold down this one while it's in default that means i'm resetting the mounting volt display and all the setting that we covered just now back to default okay and then pressing one more time this is the end that means if i press and hold down i exit from the menu itself all right with that it wraps up the part that talks about the customization of the car itself